uh, something you're definitely going to want around is some uh, thread lock. This is some old blue thread lock. We're going to be using that today. Uh, it's mandatory to use some thread lock when you're putting it together metal objects on uh, RC. Not all the time, but usually. We're also going to use these, my Cal RC corner mats here. Now, even though uh, I use a lot of um, stainless steel stuff, right, I can still use these mats to keep things organized. And when I don't use stainless steel, all the stuff is magnetic, so it just sticks where it's supposed to be, which is pretty nice. Alright, so according to this, we're going to have to go ahead and get some set screws popped into place there. You can see step one up here. Let's just prep it by putting set screws in the right spots, basically. So we will go ahead and put some thread lock on those set screws. And start putting them in where they need to go. You don't need a lot of thread lock. Just use a little bit. Basically a drop on each one. Double check when you're doing this, make sure that you have it positioned properly. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I like to make sure that yeah, I have it properly. You see there's one hole on this side, three holes on that side. This has the three hole side up, so three hole side up. This goes in the one hole in the center. And there we go. Go ahead and I'll run that in. I don't know how far I'm supposed to run it. I'm not going to go all the way. Go a little bit. Hey right, you guys, like always when we're doing these build videos and these Camp on Coleman videos, just hanging out in the shop and stuff, let me know what you're working on. Give me uh, give me a little feedback in the comment section. Let me know uh, what projects you got going on. These are going to go right here. And uh, yeah, if anything, you know, if you're on Facebook or Instagram, all that stuff, be sure to tag me in your pictures so I can check them out. I like to see what everybody's working on. Alright. Alright, so now we've got step one done, which is to basically just install three set screws. <clears throat> I always make sure I put the uh, whatchamadigit on there, the whatchamadigit, the uh, thread lock. You guys don't want to mess up there and not put thread lock on there. Alright, now we'll head on to step two, which is uh, a little more complicated. It's going to require us opening this bag here. And, boom, oh, that is good looking. You guys, look at that. I'm sorry, but just... This is beautiful, just beautiful as far as RC parts go. Man, it's really hard to get anything that looks better in this. It's really impressive. I will give them credit on that. Just definitely quality there. Alright, so that will wind up fitting itself directly to this. And it will go this way like so. Boom. But first, we need to assemble some parts. So, we're going to have to put together a locker. Ah, I knew I was forgetting something. I pulled all these parts out. Sorry guys, I'm using my teeth to open this. I pulled all these parts out. I felt like I was forgetting something, and I was. I was, I was, I was. Let me see if I can find it here. Boom. Torque Master Spool. This right here is going in the center. This will attach to this ring and pinion set. And it's a match in heaven. Alright. Imagine having a match made in heaven. I should probably say the term right. Alright, you guys. So that being said, let's go ahead and get these opened up. So... Here we go, for those of you that aren't familiar with Axial stuff, more quality. Yeah. Home's Hobbies quality. Yeah, 
so we'll get those installed. For those of you that don't know, you gotta line these holes up directly here, and it will install something like that right there. See the holes all lined up? Boom. All right, and we will be using some uh, Team K and K hardware to assemble that. Okay, now we have the spool installed on the Axial Racing HD ring gear or bevel gear here. Now you will see I used Team K and K hardware and that hardware did stick through a little bit on the top. It's the smallest screws they had, that's okay. Um, I have already tested this out in the rear axle and it's alright. There's actually room for those to be like that. So that being said, I'm not doing nothing. I was going to put little nuts on these just for you know the extra weight and to make it look pretty but you don't want to do that extra weight on rotating mass isn't good and also uh, if one of those little nuts comes off and gets lodged in your drivetrain while you're doing some serious throttling you're gonna regret putting those in there so we're just gonna leave it open like that we put some Loctite on it and it's Team K&K hardware cinched down nice and tight should do the job all right, so now that we have the Holmes Hobbies uh, spool attached to the Axial Racing ring gear, what we need to do is get the uh, bearings on it so that we can use these clamps here to go ahead and lock it into place. So we're going to go ahead and pop this open, get a couple of bearings ready, and see if we can't get this thing fitted. Hopefully I've got the right size bearings. Alright, bearing on these bearing goes right on the tip there. I don't know if that's focusing or not. There we go. A uh, bearing go right on the tip there like that. Then another bearing we'll go right on the back side of the ring gear there. Slides right on the place. Make sure it's clean, you don't want it to be dirty, make sure it rotates smooth with no uh no restriction. Now that that's in place, you're going to want to make sure that you've got the right side of these. All right, there's little divots there on the top. All right, you want to make sure those are on the proper side. So when you go to put these in, those divots should be facing towards the outside, if I'm correct. So, this should install like that. Boom. Put the divot facing towards the outside, the little indention there. And then same on the other one. Just slides onto the back there. Now we should be able to lock these in place properly. Should. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can do this right. Oh, so now that will sit just like that there. Alright, and this is the outside of the housing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do with this is we're going to want to install the bearing onto the pinion gear. Once that is installed on there, we're going to want to go ahead and slip that right into place. Just like so. Alright, so now that that's in place, you can take your ring gear, which I've already installed everything on. These uh, little brackets just slide right onto the bearings here. And those bearings slide right onto the gear and onto the spool. Just like that. So I put the screws in place. I'll take this here. This will need to be on that side. So, boom, line it up. Get it just how you need it. And go ahead and tighten it down. It's only four screws. Make sure that you don't cross thread them. I always go reverse a little bit till it clicks. 
and then screw it in. It's very important not to cross thread. I had somebody ask me why I don't use a drill. Well, if I use a drill, by the time I realize that that is cross threaded, it is ruined. Alright. Always make sure you have your Loctite on here. I already went ahead and put Loctite on these screws. And they should be good to go. Alright. Boom. Nice and tight. Go through. Double check. Now, spin it and make sure it rotates freely. You don't want anything catching. You don't want anything hitting. I'll make sure it's proper. Feels pretty good to me. Now, there's nothing on this side to stop it right now uh, and I can feel there's a little bit of play so I'm gonna want this shaft pulled tight pulled out this direction right not that direction but this direction when it's in like this it doesn't spin freely you can hear it when it's pulled out it spins freely so that's important uh, we'll get to that later We'll use a little spacer if we need to to shim that, just to make sure that it spins properly. That's probably it for now. We'll do some more on the next one, you guys. And, uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. Vanquish Products, in the house. Big shout out to CKRC for uh, sending me the goods. You guys go see CKRCHobbies.com and uh, pick you up some Vanquish Products. Yeah, buddy. You know what it is. Peace and chicken grease.